Okay, okay, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> Stargle. Because I don't want to do this video, but I need to do this video. Okay, guys. I have been spending uh, this whole time, pretty much, trying to get you guys to know the basics, which was the last video to test your basics. Now, if you're still with me, and I don't expect everyone to still be with me, and I certainly don't expect everyone to be with me after this video, because this gig that we're doing isn't for everybody. Everybody doesn't want to do it. It's not required. Everybody gets to do their own thing. But all this time, I've been trying to get you guys to be able to get out of the muck with um, with 3D, right? Okay, so, and I've talked a little bit about fourth dimension. I've told you that it's very similar, and it's very, very big. But I haven't gone into much more than that. But you have to be able to get out of 3D and stay out of 3D. Now, me, for the most part, I'm mid -ray, I'm right in the middle of 4D most of the time, and then I jump up to 5D. I don't go down to 3D anymore. And certainly not the lower aspects of 3D anymore. Uh, it's pretty easy for me to recognize I'm going down, and I have no desire to go back down there, so I just stomp on that just too sweet. I have no desire. So I'm pretty good about staying out of the third dimension. So as long as you keep talking about the stuff in the third dimension, you'll still keep going back there, like I've told you over and over and over again. So you've got to stop talking about it for one thing. You've got to stop talking about your past, because almost all of your traumatic, dramatic past is all in the third dimension, different aspects in the third dimension. Now you're in the fourth dimension, and if you're pretty consistently with me, you have moments, just moments, but you have moments up in uh, the lower levels of 5D. Now my moments are getting to be longer and longer and more complex, and we'll go into that on a, in a, the next video. But on this video, you know how bad the bad guys are on Earth? Just Earth? Right? How they uh, are sneaky and control you through the media, through education, through religion, through, oh, fill in the blanks, everything. That they tell you that, they tell you lies to get you to um, do what they want you to do. Well, the beings that run the show, and by run the show, I mean pretty much, and this is not true, there's lots and lots of different aliens, but it's, to generalize, the reptilians are the ones that communicate with uh, the um, Illuminati, Deep State, those handful of families, whoever you want to call them, that have been running the show for a very long time. And they kind of treat uh, most humans on that side, and this is a service to self side. They pretty much, but they were asked to do all this. Remember, they were asked to do all this. Uh, they treat humans very much like they know better, and they're taking care of us kind of like a farmer takes care of their cattle before they, only they uh, draw energy and consume our lower vibrations as an energy source all the time. So it'd be more like um, picking berries off of, or tomatoes off of a plant that you kept inside uh, year-round. So they tend to us, they, they they want to keep us in a certain vibratory state, but they don't want us to go too far because they don't want us to die. They need us to be alive to feed off of that vibration. So that's very much like um, us taking care of a plant and, and consuming the plant products, byproducts. That's what they're doing with us. And they really think that they are smarter than humans and better capable. And uh, some of that I just can't argue with. <laughs> But it's really because the, the humans have not been given access to the information, and they've been in amnesia. So we're just going to make it simple, because it's not that simple, of course, but I don't have time to break it all down. So the Illuminati, these are the human families that have been running the show. Uh, well, they're, they're kind of guided. They're told what to do by the reptilians, but they believe that they're being guided. And then the reptilians are kind of told what to do by mostly by the draconians what I would call draconians um, who make reptilians look like um, 
like peaceful little toads because the draconians are whoa, uh, way 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 bigger power uh, more energy uh, humans I think have seen them I think I've heard of that and they get really 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 scared so you have very 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 powerful um, energy that can be very very overwhelming okay so and they're not all draconians they're not all reptilians and and uh, not all of the Illuminati are old, old, old families. But as a general rule, this is a general rule. This is basically how it's done. Now, uh, the reptilians and the Draconians are from the fourth dimension. Okay? Planet Earth is just one of their planets. There's many of them. Billions of them. Okay? It's just a part of their group. Now, there's a whole bunch of different groups in service to self. And there's been a lot of fighting over the planet Earth and lots of planets and lots of galaxies. And like I said, it's very big and there's a lot of wars. And, and uh, the duality is very, very strong. And, and there's a big difference between service to self and service to other sides in fourth dimension. Okay? So the reason why I tell you you've got to have the basics done from 3D is because we're fixing to go through 4D. And everything that was done on Earth is done in spades in the fourth dimension. So if you can't learn <clears throat> that it's up to you and you don't have to pay any attention to all of the baloney that's going on around you, you can pick and choose and have the, the life that you want. If you don't learn that on Earth, you get out and we go through 4D, you're not going to stand a chance. Because there are a lot of bright, shiny objects. Just like the Draconians, and here we go, this is going to be, a lot of people aren't going to like this, but I don't really care. I'm not doing this to be liked around the world. I'm doing this to help the people that are going to 5D. And the truth is that the Reptilians and the Draconians are out, are from out in 4D, and they are battling for their side, and their side has been very the same. Uh, survival of the fittest, and whoever wins rules. And that's the way that side's been set up for a very long time. And it's uh, true with gal galaxies and uh, universes. And they fight amongst themselves a lot to see who's ultimately in charge uh, in the fourth dimension. That's They are always fighting. That's what they do is fight. But then they go up against, and like I said, these the duality is off the planet Earth now. And it's out into planets and multiverses and solar systems. So there's, you can actually be in a service to other side and be far, far away from the battles of the intense service to self people. But still, the service to self people have been manipulating people, humans, for a very long time. And they're very good at it. So if you think that they're going to stop because you're in fourth dimension, you are sorely mistaken. They will... They know what you uh, believe. They know what your myths are. They know who your gods are. They know what your vibrations are. So are they going to show up in front of you looking like a, a reptile? And, and I, guess, I don't know. What do you think a reptile looks like? I happen to love snakes myself. But with their tongue going in and out and evil looking eyes to you, is that what you're going to uh, look, what they're going to look like? Of course they're not going to look like that. They're going to look like the most angelic beings. And in fourth dimension, the energy that you have identified as love in 3D, there's also that energy that you identify as love in 4D. Only it's a lot stronger. So if you've been used to love in 3D, which is, oh, not even close to the real thing, but that's what you've experienced and that's all you've experienced, and you go to 4D in this angelic-looking creature, because... You know, shape shifting is like super simple in 4D. There's all kinds of ways uh, with tech and oh, just all kinds of ways that they can uh, become. They can look however they want to. Whether it's uh, cloning to tech to intent, you know. So, but what they're going to send to you and into people is going to be very angelic looking being. Uh, quite possibly one that looks like uh, your idea of Jesus or God. And it's going to exude love that you've never felt. You're going to hit, your knees are going to hit the ground. You're going to go, oh my gosh, that's the most powerful love I've ever felt. And you're going to go, you're going to go, 
a lot of people are going to want to follow that person onto their little spaceship, into their little room, and twinkle, twinkle away to their slave planet. <laughs> because I've made slaves of you here, now you don't even know who you are. You have no time to be authentic because you're just struggling to pay the bills and uh, keep your family fed, and you know that that could change at any time. Well, who do you think set that up? <laughs> It's not that there's not food on this planet. There's not. It's not that you can't travel around like the originals do in a tent. You could, but they've got you convinced that uh, you need all the stuff and you need a house and there's not enough food on the planet. Yada yada. Well, they did all that. Well, they learned. They've done it here a long, a long time, and they brought it from the fourth dimension where they've done it for such a long period of time that you wouldn't even comprehend it anyway. Not infinity, but close. <laughs> it would feel like it to you. So they're very, very good at what they do. And they're going to try to get you still. So if now all of a sudden you believe in aliens, you're looking for spaceships, and um, you're wanting to see an ascended master, oh, they come as ascended masters all the time now. So you have to be really, really careful about who you're talking to. All right? So, because they are, they're everywhere. Now, for me, I'm going to 5D, so I just rule them all out. Now, just to let you know, because I'll probably slip into this speech, uh, Stephanie has called the service to self people geckos and the service to others pe people's people pigeons. We could group them all together. So, even though they have very, oh, they have a lot of groups, a lot of different entities, a lot of different setups, to us, they are very similar. Now, to us, the geckos are much more upfront about it. Um, to me, that's easier to live with. Uh, it's kind of like talking to Jehovah and Satan. At least Satan was upfront about it. Uh, Jehovah was very evasive. And that's the way the pigeons are. They're very evasive. And the pigeons will also take you over and make you slaves. You have to do things the way they say to do it because that is the only way um, to become enlightened and to move on. You must serve others or else. You become them and you go straight to hell or you don't become enlightened. They really lose the heaven hell thing in 4D. It's more like, what do you want to be like them? And the service to others, service to self people are turned into the, their people and saying, do you want to be like them? Because uh, the service to self people, they are very proud of the fact that they have a a system in place and that you earn your place and if you don't keep earning it somebody else is going to take it and it makes sense that it's open and honest whereas the pigeons service to others people they play like that they're all goody goody when in reality it's like that video I told you ultimately service to others is service to self so the service to other pigeons in fourth dimension are looking down their noses at the get-go saying well we're service to others we are better than we have ascended masters we have more love and the geckos are looking at the pigeons and they're going well you're just lying you're just as service to self as we are we're just honest about it can you see that okay now both sides are going to try to get you and if you've fallen for all of the hoopla if you haven't gotten over the hoopla and if you can't not look at the government and not getting involved in the vegan meat eater battle. If you can't get out of that here, you probably don't stand a chance in fourth dimension. Most of the new agers are pigeons. Most of them are. Channelers, ascended masters, uh, multiple monks, you know, a lot of them are pigeons. Like I said, like I told you to get out of here and to go to 5D, ultimately it's happier, 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 no matter what. Don't look at any of that crap that's going on. Not anything on Earth, not the geckos, not the pigeons, don't care. Enjoy your, your life, enjoy your ride, I wish you well, but I'm going this way. And that's what you've got to be very, very focused, go into 4, 4D, because there's so many bright shining things, and they're very, very good at making you think that they've got the answer and they'll save you or if you come over here they'll take care of you but that is the key right there any being that tells you uh, puts their arm around you pats you on the head and says come on honey I'll take care of you or come and jump on this air this this uh, 
the spaceship and we'll take you to the perfect place. If you fall for that, then you're not ready for 5D. Because if anybody does that with me, I go, uh, not interested, don't need you. I am a creator god, I got this. Now, I don't need your gifts, I don't need your doing it for me thing, and that's the difference. 4D, they're going to want to do it for you. They're going to want to do it for you. That whether it's they make you do it for you over on the gecko side, or if they cajole you and like sympathize and baby you on the pigeon side, but they're going to want to do it for you. So if you think that it took focus to get out of 3D, it's nothing compared to the focus you've got to have getting through 4D, because these were the experts. They learned it in 4D, and it's everywhere. Both sides are here. They're open. They're doing their job, and they're going to try to get the humans on this planet. They know what's happening with Gaia. They know that Gaia is moving on. Therefore, every human that is not staying on Gaia and raising its vibration to 5D, they're open game. They're open game. They're going to come, and, and uh, there will be people. These guys are so good that, okay, let's say people, somebody doesn't believe in any of it, and they're kind of grouchy. You know, their beings can come and get a human, put them on a spaceship, and completely wipe their memory, put them on a new planet, and they don't even know they were here. They can make them believe that the planet they've moved to is here, surrounded by everybody that they know. Oh, they've got all kinds of things in place. All kinds of things. And if you don't have, if you don't understand the power and the strength that you are, so that you can go go away, and that's all it takes. You don't need to have money, manipulate uh, a big army. You don't have to have it, uh, ascendedness. You don't have to be able to meditate to enlightenment. No, this is all you gotta do. Um, I'm a creator God. Get out of here. Get out of here. I want nothing to do with you. Nothing to do. I've got my own path. Send you love, but uh, no, I'm not doing it. In your dreams, in your bedrooms, in your anywhere that's all you got to do guys you are a creator god you are in charge i've told you this over and over for a reason because to get through 4d you have to know it you have to know it because they will try so many manipulative games and you won't be ready for it here you practice you it's been passed on you know what to expect 4d you've forgotten you've forgotten so it's very easy to fall for a, they can give you, they can hit you with a vibration that's called love that'll make you feel like you're in ecstasy forever. And it isn't anymore the real love. But you've been so messed up by lustful feelings that you don't even know what real love feels like anymore. You have no idea. So if they hit you with a strong lustful feeling, you'll translate that into, into uh, love. It.